Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you, Esau? Where are you? Are you in your house, Esau? Or in the office? In work. Ah, okay, good, good. Thank you. Like like Jorge, look, Jorge is working, right? Or are you home, Jorge? In my house. Ah, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good. Okay. Patricia, you're going to participate today? Yeah, finally. Thank you. Okay, I miss your participation, right? Okay, and Manuel is a listener. Karina is a listener too, right? I understand. No, don't worry. I understand. Karina, I understand. Manuel, Manu. Let me copy that, please. Mm -hmm. We have Manuel Eduardo, right? Okay. Good. And also Karina, Alejandra Melendez. Thank you. Okay, here we are, right? And finally, Beatriz. Oh, sorry, Manuel. Eh, problemas de internet. Okay, I understand, Manuel. Yeah, but please pay attention to the class, right, Manuel? Good. Beatriz, how are you today? Hi. Ready for a new class? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Excellent. That's nice, right? Okay, class. Now we're going to start with the presentation right now. Okay. Here's the presentation. I have another message, I say. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program. This is basic module number three, right? And this is the class 14. <laughs> class 14. I feel like we start with class number one. Yes. The time <laughs> flies. The time is passing by. You say in, in English, el tiempo vuela, right? The time is passing by. So today is June 15. Today is June 15, right? And the the name of the class is good etiquette or etiquette if you want to say <clears throat> at the workplace uh, yesterday we were talking about uh, good etiquette right in the or using the cell phone right so today we're going to talk about the etiquette what is appropriate to do in your job in your company right what is correct to do so let's start right now This is the objective, right? Uh, Esau, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Communication at the workplace. I will be able to a able? provide a written and oral instructions. Able to provide wider and oral insistation on etiquette at the workplace. Okay. Both written and oral instruction, right? Nice. Thank you, Esau. That is the objective for tonight. Good. Now, is the word etiquette familiar to you, Beatriz? What is your opinion? Is it familiar? Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you. And can you mention two rules of etiquette in your workplace, please, Beatriz? Mm, every morning, give the salutation or make a pray. Oh, really nice. It's interesting. So this yeah, is... we, do, we do that every day. Nice. Listen, sometimes we have written etiquettes that is, you know, it's in paper. And sometimes, for example, I imagine, Beatriz, this is not written, right? This is uh, an oral etiquette that you 
you say, no, we have to, to pray in the morning. So that's the way it is, right? Or, or it's in a paper, Beatriz? No, it's oral. Oh, no, right. It's oral, right? So you everybody knows, right? Like, like when you are on the street, you have to walk on the right side of the street, not on the left, right? So it's a, an oral etiquette because everybody knows, but it's not in a paper. It's not in the Constitution. Or Article number five. Los, los transeúntes deberán caminar por la derecha, si no la policía los va a llevar preso. No, no. So it's you understand the rule, right? For logic. Okay. Good. Patricia, please. What about you? Are you familiar with this word? Do you practice etiquette in your work? Yes. One example, Patty. Um, in, um, workplace, um, a la hora de comer. Mm -hmm. um, Ah, uh, okay. No. Uh, uh, what mm. What do you do when you're eating in your workplace? What is the etiquette? I mean, you can throw the food <laughs> or what? No, este, como para para calentar la comida. Uh -huh. o sea, tenemos como un horario. Interesting. Para calentar la comida. Esa sería como... And you make a sí line? Es ah, it's written. Oh. Yes. And do you y have dejar to... limpio el área. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And do you make line? I don't understand. Line is that you, you when you are in a bank, for example, right? You, you're waiting, right? You're waiting like this. Mm. <laughs> you know? um, no, no, you oh. don't have to make like it's a few people, right? Poquitos, son poquitos. <laughs> oh, sí. Yeah, okay, good. You know, uh, one of the etiquettes in my workplace when you are using the microwave oven, Patty, is no fish. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, so when, when somebody brings fish, everybody says, oh, fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's an, an oral etiquette. Because... Ese es el último en calentar. Oh, okay. I imagine. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Right now, uh, let me see. Who can I make the question? Eduardo. What about you, Eduardo? Are you familiar with the word etiquette? Do you practice etiquette in your workplace? Please, tell us. Yes. Everybody, we do clean that it's not the same, it's not the same assignation every day. Mm -hmm. For example, the Monday, I clean the bathroom. Ah, oh, interesting. First day, I clean the sala de eventos. Ah. And Wednesday, I clean the uh, dining room. Okay, so uh, Eduardo is like a like a schedule, right? uh, horario, right? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So in this case, it's a written etiquette, right? That you have to clean when it's when it's appropriate. Uh huh. And what yes. other what other rule of etiquette do you have in your workplace? The other rule is that you, excuse me. Your presentation that uh -huh. the all 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 sides of work, uh, -huh. uh many 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 clients. Okay, let me see if I understand, Eduardo. Uh, is a dress code. Address code. Uh -huh. eh, código de vestimenta, right? Address code? No. 
That's what you mean? Yes. Ah, okay. I understand. So you have to wear it in one specific thing, right? In a specific way. Okay. Good. Now, Carolina. Hello. Welcome, Carolina. Welcome, teacher. Welcome. Okay. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good e <laughs> okay, good evening. Good evening. For a moment, I, I thought you were saying good morning, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, Carolina, uh, do you have rules of etiquette in, in your company? Yes. One example, please. We can use the uh, t-shirt uh -huh. each day um, like a dress code right dress code uh, monday is is red uh, ah. and tuesday is is another color i understand so uh, and this is written or oral code uh, etiquette carolina it's written, well, está, está por escrito que deben llevar un color cada semana, right? O, o is oral. No, uh, it's oral. It's oral, ok. You say, yes. Miren, mañana vamos a venir de rojo, right? No, eh, se hace, se eh, hizo una reunión y se acordaron, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, los colores. Entonces, ah. si alguien por algún motivo va a llegar a otro color, Informante. Parranda. No. <laughs> no, tiene que no. decir antes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. <laughs> ok. No, no. I only imagine, Carolina. That... No, you, you break the etiquette, right? Imagine. Perdiendo por el color. Ah, uh -huh, I imagine. No, <laughs> eh. In my in my office it's almost the same, but uh, we they they don't ask the the, the men, only the women. They they yeah. say, okay, tomorrow is is pink, <laughs> and I say I don't I don't have a a, a shirt pink. So <laughs> then then the next one is a, a blouse with flowers. I say I don't have a blouse with flowers. Sorry, I cannot participate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So these are uh, some examples of, of etiquette, right? You have in your workplace. It's with everything. It's with with your with your dress. It's with the vocabulary. It's with the behavior. If you, uh, let's say, if you smoke, for example, or, or if you. If you say mean words, you know, malas palabras, right? Or, or maybe uh, the time when you eat, for example, in the case of party, right? That the, uh, there is a time for, for everybody to go and, and, and heat, calentar, right? Heat the, the, the food, right? Or in the case like Eduardo, that uh, they have uh, to clean one specific area, right? Uh, and it's written, right? Today, uh, the, the meeting room for Pedro. Tomorrow, Eduardo, right? And Friday, Maria. I don't know. I imagine. So it's like uh, you follow a specific rules for for cleaning the plate, right? Okay, and it's normal. You don't litter, right? When you when you eat, lo que comen no dejan tirar la basura, right? Okay, I understand. Now let's continue, please. Vocabulary. Vocabulary, right? Guideline. What is a guideline? A guideline class is a general rule, instruction, suggestion, right? And let's just say, for example, uh, uh, on Monday, people are going to bring red. On Tuesday, green. On Wednesday, blue. On Thursday, yellow. On Friday, pink, for example, right? So there is a guide. It's a, it's a general rule, instructions how to do something, right? Okay? Knowledge. 
well, knowledge is the all the information that you have, all the abilities that you have acquired, your experience in in edu in, in your education, right? For example, if you go to school, to to high school, to university, to an academy, or here that you're learning English, right? It's all the information that you are having, acquiring, right? And abilities also, right? Abilities, right? Concise. Concise is short and direct. Direct, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, direct. Let me, let me correct this. Vamos a corregir esto, sorry. Direct. Ok. <clears throat> ok. So, short and direct to the point. That is concise. Uh-huh. And then, it was raining, and I was walking, and, and, and I saw the door, and, and I was eating a sandwich. No, no, come on. Go to your job and make your job simple right <laughs> what are the instructions uh complete the exercise with affirmative sentences only that concise sin andarse por la rama right direct to the point right avoid avoid is stop doing something keep away alejarse mantenerse lejos de algo avoid right say like eh, evitar Or when you're smoked, right? You say, evitar fumar. Stop doing something. No, no more. No more. Or, you know, drinking, right? Stop doing that. Okay? Or, for example, if you like fast, no more fast. Sorry. No more firpo. Only alianza. <laughs> okay, sorry. Eduardo is going to get angry with the teacher. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, that's a voice. Loudly. Loudly is producing much sound. Uh, like, like the teacher. Me, sometimes I am very loudly. High volume. My family says, eh, muy fuerte habla usted, bájale volumen. <laughs> so loudly, loudly. Chew. Chew is bite and crush something with the teeth. For example, when you're eating, uh, yum, 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 yum. So that is chew. Chew. Right? Bite and crush. Okay, class, uh, do you have questions about this vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? Any translation into Spanish? Questions? Uh, ¿Qué significaba loudly? Uh, the meaning of loudly is uh, fuerte, ruidoso. Yes, for example, the, me, the teacher, I sometimes say, please, repeat it to me. And then, oh, the teacher is speaking loudly, right? Uh-huh. Or sometimes, uh, Mario, some ladies, I remember in the school, right, some ladies, yeah, you know, Trate vos, you know, so, oh, come on, you speak so loud, you're loudly, right? Ah, and one thing, Mario, when you are walking on the street, because of the cars, you know, and the buses and the trucks. So, ah, oh, it's loudly, right? Or when you go to a commercial center, oh, come on, I hate that. You know, a lot of people around, and they are loudly, they speak, they, oh, a lot of noise. Como cuando estás eh, queriendo oír la clase y hay mucho ruido. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, that's it, very good. Not in this class, Mario, it's in other class. No en Como cuando el teacher habla solo de la alianza, que ya, ya aburre. Ok, good. No, 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 no. Yo hablo de, de ruido ambiental que no te deje escuchar la clase. I understand, esos. yes. No, no, I understand what you mean, right? For example, eh, el, el señor de los, la señora de los tamales, right? O, o, o es a dog, Mario, sometimes. Rah, rah, rah. Ah, you don't listen, right? Well, in my case, with the, these headphones. These are good, Mario. Uh, everybody can shout around me, right? The dog is barking, a lot of noise, señores los tamales, etc. For me, I don't care. It's, I can hear perfectly. 
but yes, you are right, Mario. Uh, when you cannot listen the class because it's very noisy around, right? Okay, and thank you, Mario. Now, other question, class? Other question? Oh, come on, I will take the attendance. Yeah. Se me olvidó la asistencia. Ajá, Mario. Uh, um, se me acaba de ocurrir una, una pregunta rara. Uh, uh -huh. El bite ese que está ahí es como de mordida, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero se escribe igual bite de... de... de, de, de cantidad de... de algo en informática. Ah, uh, bytes. Uh, oh, well, well, se escribe... Con y, ya, es con y. Well, on, honestly, let me see, bytes. No, it's with B, uh, like this, Mario. Honestly, I don't understand exactly what is the meaning of, of, of bytes, but it's a, a measurement, right? Es una medida, ¿no? Yes, Mario. Sí, sí, correcto. Yes, right? uh -huh. Pero sí, ya con Y. Ajá, yes. But this is the one like, eh, uh, right, bite. And bite and crush. Uh, uh, and then you chew, you chew. Um, 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 that is chew, right? Mm -hmm. You use the teeth to crush. You know? <laughs> okay. Especially when, Mario, when you, when you eat melcocha, you know? <laughs> okay. Good. Also, when you eat gum, when you eat chicle, right? I, I, well, honestly, I, I, I bite the meat. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, uh, Mario, uh, honestly, I don't know you, but I, I hate when people chew gum. When la gente mastica chicle, right? Sorry. I don't know you guys if you have the custom, but, but I hate that. I don't, I don't. And when they are talking to you, right? And they say, uh -huh, ¿cómo has estado? La familia, ok, come on. I hate that. A mí me gusta, pero cuando o hago viajes largos, siempre ah. llevo chicle para destaparme los oídos. Ah, you're right. But you, you're not having a conversation, Mario, with a person, right? You're not speaking with the chewing, right? No, right? Mm, a veces. Oh. Pero usualmente no, no, no más con chicle. Ah, ok, good, good. That's it, right? Okay, let's continue. Right now, we'll, I will take the attendance. Esaú is driving. Okay, good. Si es que lo acabamos de ver ahí en el trabajo, Esaú, ¿verdad? Ya va para casita. Thank you, Esaú. Listen, lo voy a poner como oyente a Esaú. Eh, Enoch. Present yes. teacher. Okay, thank you. Cristina. Cristina. Carolina. Present. Thank you. Jill. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Jill. And uh, Giovanni. Giovanni. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, ah, Giovanni, let me see, ah, I have a message from Giovanni, let me see, okay, uh, no, present, say Giovanni, ah, Giovanni, listener or, or participation? Ah, good, no problem, so, oyente. Oyente, don't worry, Giovanni. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. Giovanni. Uh, here. Eh, Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Guadalupe. Ah, no ha venido Jennifer todavía. Okay. Eh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Karina, ya le tomé la asistencia. Karina. En Alejandro. Luis Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel, también ya le tomé la asistencia, Manuel. Oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, Mario. Present. Oscar Andrés. Oscar Daniel. Sorry. Present. Ok, let me see. Por aquí me pareció ver a Oscar. Que casi no le copio, Oscar. Ahí está. Oscar Daniel Castillo. Ok. Ya está para registro de Insafor. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Oscar. En Patricia. Present. Thank you. Eh, Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you very much. En Vilma. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Good. Yeah, we have a lot of people today. Vamos a repasar los que no han venido. Vamos a ver. Cristina. Elizabeth. Jenny por Guadalupe. Ok. Andrés. Ok. A ver si me queda claro. Están en la clase. Ok. Good. Now let's continue talking about etiquettes. Tarán. Good. Now I will read and then you are going to read with me. Right? I will read one part and we, I will say, for example, eh, Patty, help me. Esmeralda, help me, right? Vilma, help me, right? Okay. Listen, please. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. Please, Vilma, read. Me va a leer lo que acabo de leer yo, Vilma, please. Me lo puede repetir nuevamente. Okay, no problem, no problem. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. There are many workplace etiquette will then but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, uh -huh. that's it, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. Okay, Esmeralda, read please. Hola, teacher, sorry, me había levantado un momento. Okay, I will read again and then you read, okay. Listen, however, Habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. Okay, read, Esmeralda. Mis responsabilidades en no, 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 only read, only Lea. read. Yeah, however, habitual... Uh, Donde dice good, no, no, donde no. dice there are. I will read again. Pay attention. However, is this part, look. Ah, oh, habitual, late. Mm, this part? Okay. Yes. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in an organization. 
son los que más caen mal, dice. <laughs> okay. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. Read. If you know that you will be No, no, no. Be however, late. however, however, ah, okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated. ¿Cómo, cómo se lee esa palabra? Appreciated. Appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible. Continue. And you? And you respect the organization. Uh, okay, very good. And you respect the organization. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, now, uh, if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline or etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Okay? So please help me reading this part, uh, Patricia. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concert authority and report the reason why you are early late. Excellent also, right? Okay, thank you, Patty. Thank you, Esmeralda. Right, thank you, Vilma, for your reading. Now, I don't know if you have questions about this. Ah, I have a message here. Give me this. Uh, teacher, esta noche estaré como oyente. Okay, Cristina. Hello, Cristina. Welcome. I understand. Ahorita la notamos, Cristi. Okay, como oyente, Cristi. Entonces solo nos faltaría Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Jennifer. No, no está. Oscar Andrés. Okay, let's continue, right? So, class, do you have questions about this vocabulary, this uh, reading? Any word that you don't understand? No? Okay, so let's continue. Okay, I will read, right? Etiquette or etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary. I'm sorry. It is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries, right? In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and to be concise. Okay. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Now, I will have uh, Oscar to read this part, right? I will repeat, Oscar, listen, and then you repeat. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with, a, with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. Oscar, read, please. Okay, I will I will point what is the part I want you read, right? Okay, just give me a second here. 
I want you to read this. 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 And this. Ready? Okay. okay, go ahead. Ready. Uh, etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In some case, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace Email, etiquette, or okay, thank you very much, right? Remember, it's not the way, the same way you communicate in one country that in other countries could be different, right? Okay, thank you, Oscar. Now, uh, Mario, you're going to read this, Mario. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Mario, please. Uh, the, uh, oh. In the official emails. Uh -huh. Oh, the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You, you shall use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, class. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about this? Good. So, no, the first etiquette teacher, is... Teacher, okay. teacher. Yes, tell me. I, I question. Yes. Uh, knowledge. Knowledge, uh, conocimiento. What, what is the meaning? Conocimiento. Ah, ah conocimiento. Uh, no por acá tengo que... Clearly. Clearly. Clear, clear, clear. Claramente. Claramente. Uh, clear, com, on the pronunciation, is word, please. Clearly. 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 Mm -hmm. Clearly. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, anytime. Anytime. Thank you for your question. Yes. And remember, class, I like questions. Anytime you have a question, that's it, right? Okay, now, uh, the first etiquette in the workplace is punctuality. The second one is communication in the email, right? Communication in the email. Good, and let's go to the next one. In addition, Knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential, right? Uh, yesterday we were learning about this, right? ¿Se acuerdan que ya aprendimos de, de, la, de la forma correcta de usar el celular, right? The etiquette. Mm -hmm. And so it's very essential too in the in the office, yes. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Cualquier momento de nuestro trabajo, pues, se nos hace necesario hablar por teléfono. Be polite when you talk. Be polite to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid to avoid wrong interpretations. Okay? So, who's going to help me reading? Uh, Alejandro, please. Alejandro, you will read this for me. Look, I will show you. Mm 
You will read this. Solo leo esa oración nada más. No, wait, 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 wait. This. Okay. And wait, wait. <laughs> okay, and this, right? Ready? Okay. Hasta ahí leo. Yeah, I will read for you. Listen. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during the our daily work. Okay. Okay. Uh, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Now, uh -huh. very good. Now, thank you very much. So, uh, I have Karina, no. Eduardo, please help me, Eduardo. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Okay, Eduardo, read. Be polite when you talk to your employees and your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is a clear, is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, class. Do you have questions about about this part? Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. uh, polite es como amable. Uh, amable. Político, ajá. Político, amable, right? polite. That is the reason politicians are polite. Politic, polite. It's the same. They kiss babies too. <laughs> okay, so polite goes, is related with politicians, you know. <laughs> yeah. Good. Any other question? También se puede referir cuando se dice que una persona es bastante diplomática a la hora de conversar. Polite, yes. Totally right. Polite. Polite. Mm -hmm. Very good. More questions? Commentaries? Okay. This information is in your manual. In your manual. Wait a minute. Yes, here, right? It's on page 25. This information, right? Okay. But now, uh, let's go to the next part. Etiquette, etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating, celebrating sorry, with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. Don't, ang, 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 no, right? You close your mouth. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Tengo la mira, muchacho. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. That's it, right? Now, uh, who's going to help me reading? Let me see. Next one. Next one. Okay, there, right? So who's going to help me? Let's go to the list. 
Let's go to the list. So we have a, sorry, ya ya me perdí, sorry. Sorry, excuse me class, I'm lost. Ya me perdí. ¿Quién, ¿Quién fue el último que me ayudó a leer? Mario, right? Yes, Mario? No, o Alejandro, no, right? No, me, mi teacher, Eduardo. Ah, Eduardo, thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Ya, ya me había perdido. Okay, so Jorge, Jorge. Thank you, Eduardo. Now, Jorge, can you help me, please? Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Mario? I mean, uh, Jorge, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh -huh. sorry. Andamos uh -huh. cortando vara, andamos cortando vara, Jorge. Uh -huh. ya, ya nos vamos a ir a, ya nos vamos a tomar un poquito más de agua para refrescarnos ahí. Okay, Jorge? Okay. Yeah. Eric, uh, give it a light are important See when you are celebrating, celebrating where you go to work place, if you get a call when you are 80, say excuse me, and they read the same the call. Thank you. Listen, Jorge, receive, receive. Yes, no, receive. Receive, okay. Guidelines. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Jorge, hoy sí ya me ubiqué. Ubícate, right? Eh, Beatriz, please, can you read the, the, the next part? Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. Ay, 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 ay. You should remember that your, your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role, vital role for future promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. Beatriz. <laughs> Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Thank you. Good reading, right? Now, class, any question about vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? No? Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, tell me. What is the meaning uh, behavior? Behavior, comportamiento. Behavior. Un behavior. Behavior, comportamiento. Comportamiento, yes. Uh, following. Siguiente. Ah, uh, following. Uh, okay. okay. Las siguientes eh, guías. Guidelines. Eh, etiqueta, uh, guidelines. Pueden jugar un, un, uh, un rol muy importante. Ok, good. So, okay, following, following, lo, las siguientes, o lo siguiente, right? Any other question? Pregunta, pregunta, ok, no, no questions? <laughs> ok, very good. Now, let's go and it's time to work. Here we have some questions, look. Okay, here we have the question, right? Question number one. If you know you are late, you should compensate the time, call the person you report to, or not to do anything about it. What is a tip to apply in official email? Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. And four, if you receive a call while you are eating, yum, 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 with co-worker, you should what? You should A, B, or C, right? Now, what is, which is not good etiquette when, when talking on the phone? Cuando estamos hablando con el celular, ¿cuál es? No es una buena etiquette, right? Good, class. Now, we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar en, en los grupos pequeños. 
¿Ok? But I need you... Si no tienen el manual, necesito que me hagan unos screenshots para que puedan trabajar, ¿ok? Ahí está. Ok, good. Eh, vamos a hacer un screenshot, please. Now, ready? Okay, next one. Screenshot. Si no, en su manual. Esto está en la página 35. <clears throat> page 35. Ready? Okay, number three. Screenshot. Ready? Okay. The last one. Screenshot. Ready? Okay. And the last one, right? Four questions. Screenshot. Ready? Okay. Now we're going to work in groups. Ahora vamos a trabajar en grupos. Eh, solo les informo quiénes van a estar de oyentes. Van a estar ahí en su grupo, pero no me les, no me les hablen porque van a estar solo de oyentes, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Eh, Cristina. Esaú. Giovanni. Karina. ¿Quién más va a estar oyente? Manuel Eduardo. Y finalmente, solamente, ¿verdad? Karina. Karina va a estar oyente, ¿sí? Ok, todos estos chicos van a estar oyente. Los voy a anexar a los grupos porque eh, me pide anexar a todos los participantes, ¿verdad? Pero ya saben que ellos van a estar solo participando en escuchando, ¿verdad? Los demás, pues. A contestar aquí, ok, ready now, one ah, les voy a decir quién, quién va a, eh, a quién le toca ir en cada equipo, verdad vamos a hacer ok, cuatro grupos no, tres grupos tres grupos, ok, ready now, group number one, apunten que, con qué grupo van, ¿verdad? Porque después me preguntan, teacher, ¿en qué grupo van? <laughs> ok, good, now, number one, Enoch, Carolina, Giovanni, que está de oyente, Jill, Mario, en Esmeralda, uh, gran equipo, el uno, vamos a ver el dos, eh, Karina, está de oyente, Manuel, está de oyente. Sería Eduardo Flores en el 2. Eh, Esaú. Esaú creo que va de oyente porque va, va transportándose. Y Beatriz en Jorge. Gran equipazo también, ¿verdad? Pero más que todos los que van a participar son Eduardo, Beatriz en Jorge. Ok, that's it. And number three. Alejandro, Cristina, que está de oyente. Jill, está 100% participando. Jill, <laughs> Oscar, Patricia y Vilma, right? Esos son los grupos. Ready? Nombre un secretario y que conteste la pregunta y nos vamos. Ok, join the group, please. Unamos 
Unámonos a los grupos. Vamos, chicos, vamos. Let's do it. Carolina, sí. una hacia el grupo, Carolina, Liz, Cristi, una hacia el grupo, Cristi, aunque esté solo de oyente, Karina, puede unirse a un grupo, Karina. Giovanni, Cristina y Karina, únanse a un grupo, por favor. Como dice la, 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 la uno o la dos. Tarde de la uno es la, 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 la B. Según la lectura. Yo pienso que es la B. Vaya, ahorita vamos a ver. La número dos. What is a tip to apply in office? Everything is okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Do you have este the grupo está bien cargado, solo dos habemos. <laughs> Ok, no, aquí está eh, Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. Beatriz. 
Lo siento, teacher, es que no puedo compartir mi pantalla ahorita, entonces no puedo colaborar. Ah, ándale, ah, pues aquí está Beatriz. Sí, es pero... que mi compu está... No, pero aquí... No, está no, no. Jorge, Jorge, ya no, no, no va a dormir, Jorge. <risa> ok. No, no. Este, va, está bien. Este, Pueden compartir no, 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 ahí con, con, con Beatriz ahí, este, o les comparto yo, si quieren. Yo creo que podría más Eduardo porque ya estoy con el celular ahorita. Ah, Eduardo, usted está con la compu, ¿verdad? Si quiere, comparta los screenshots. Aquí están, si quieren, solo que... Pero tomé fotos con el cel, no hice screenshot. Ah, ya, pero... Bueno, pero lo que pueden hacer es discutir las preguntas. Aquí están las preguntas. Eh, por ejemplo, en la primera yo le comentaba a Eduardo que a mi criterio la respuesta de la pregunta 1 sería literal A, con pensar el tiempo. Ok. Beatriz, en Eduardo, what do you say? Yo opino que literal B, llamar a la persona a quien tengo que reportarme para informar. Ajá, Eduardo, ¿y yo? Yo lo recuerdo un poquito japonés que me enseñaron. Que si voy tarde, no diga nada. Llegué tarde, solo diga, ya llegué. Porque oh. si usted le dice y le reporta, mire que el tráfico, mire que la lluvia, mire que mi hijo, mire que el desayuno, mire que me enfermé, mire que el bus, okay. todos dicen a reír. Eso, ser, eso será lo más conveniente, ¿verdad? Pero ¿cuál es lo, según lo, la etiqueta de la lectura que se debería hacer, Eduardo? Lo ideal, pues. Aunque no estemos de acuerdo. Person, you report to. Ah, ok, muy bien. Vamos a la dos entonces. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Literal C. Beatriz, what do you think, Beatriz? Express the subject clearly. Ok. En Eduardo. I not understand that question. Ok. What is a tip to apply in official emails? ¿Cuál es un consejo que usted va a platicar, aplicar, perdón, cuando envía uh, emails oficiales? Mandarlo en inglés, usar una la, un largo saludo o express, expresar el, el tema claramente. Letter C. Letter C, ok. Y ahí están las otras dos, ahí se las dejo. Take note, right? Tomen nota. Cuando los llame a la, a la sala principal, ahí me, me contestan. ¿A quién dejamos de secretario o secretaria? <ríe> Beatriz. Bueno, ahí ustedes deciden. But number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Letter B. Okay. And number four, if you receive a call while you're eating in a party, for example, you should.
leave the table and answer the call. Okay. Now, Eduardo and Jorge, what do you think, boys? The same, the same. Okay, and Eduardo? Okay, take a decision and then copy, right? Who's going to be the secretary? Eduardo, Jorge, or, or, or Beatriz? ¿Quién me va a ayudar ahí en la, en la, ofic en la oficina principal? <laughs> Sala principal. Hmm? Come on, guys. Energy. Energy. <laughs> Beatriz, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Now we'll go to room three. But voy a ir donde los chicos de la sala tres. Okay. Y luego los llamo a ustedes otro ratito. Ready? Do you finish? Hello, teacher. Did you finish, Pati? Yo creo que sí, porque ninguno me, ninguno me contestó. Ah, Oscar. Did you finish, Oscar, Alejandro? Vilma? Solo Cristi está de oyente, ¿verdad? Pero Oscar, Alejandro y Vilma están activos. Vamos a ver, chicos. Les comparto acá para que veamos. Están las preguntas, ¿ven? Look. Ahí están las preguntas, ¿sí? Yes. If you are late, what is the most appropriate? Oscar, in your opinion, Oscar? A, B, or C, Oscar? Little B. Little B. Okay. Good. Patty, for you? Letter B. Ah, okay, good. You got it, right? Anótenlo ahí entonces. Number two. Sí. Alejandro, please. What is a tip you apply in office? ¿Cuál es un consejo que vamos a aplicar, Alejandro? Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Ya ven que estamos bien aquí en este grupo. <laughs> I like it. Good. And number three. Which is not a good etiquette when, you, when you're talking on the phone? Que, que no es algo bueno. Little B. Little B. Ok. Uh, what do you think, Patty? Um, letter A. Letter A. Oh. Alejandro, entonces decide, Alejandro. A, B, <laughs> or C, Alejandro. Uh, B. Yes. B, let it be. Okay. Good. And the last one, right? Lo dejo con la última entonces. Eh, me voy a ir al grupo uno y dentro de un minuto lo llamo a ustedes, ¿sí? Decidan en la número cuatro. Yo digo que Patti que dé la respuesta, ¿verdad? Mm. Es la, li la líder de este grupo. <risa> no. Oh, yes. Ok, ya, ya lo llamo. Solo voy a irme con el grupo uno un párrafo completo cada uno y al final de, de la lectura de un párrafo le decimos en qué palabras se equivocó Ajá. el que estaba leyendo así ¿De cuál tenemos duda en la pronunciación uh -huh. ah, sí, sí, así lo discutimos uh -huh. ¿Quién va? Vale, en este caso en el primer okay. párrafo sería con oh. C. Oh, aunque también palabra. podríamos 
Creo que también podríamos, podríamos, aunque también podríamos tomar las palabras que no pronunciamos bien y las subrayo acá para tener ahí el detalle de, de preguntarle al, al teacher. Eso es lo que pensaba. Por ejemplo, hay que marcar el concert. Uh -huh. Lo siento, eh, ¿aquí? Uh -huh. Sí, correcto. Okay. Bien, ¿qué otra? Esta, ¿verdad? Ya nos queda poco tiempo. Sí, sí, however. Hola de nuevo. Hello. Hi. Dino. <laughs> no, it was Dudley. Dudley. This is Dino. Teacher. What? Jill, uh, Mario, who's... ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Uh, concern or concern? Concerned. 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 Yes. No se escucha la E, ¿verdad? Concerned. Yes. Concerned. Concerned. Mm -hmm. However. 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 How ever. How ever. However. However. Uh, however. 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 <laughs> however. Yes. Okay, class. Let's do it together. I will read. I will read for the last time, right? And then you go to your answers, right? Uh, are all the groups here now? ¿Ya estamos todos? Yes, yeah, right. Ok. Yes, we are here, everybody. Veo There que are... hay menos participantes. Yes, <risa> es que, eh, bueno, no, eh, Andrés, no es Saúl, va de camino a casa. Giovanni también está viajando. Bueno, hay varios ahí. Ni modo, vamos a, los que estamos activos, vamos a participar. Ok, listen. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good report, no, a good etiquette, gu etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned, the, the concerned authority in and report uh, the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. If the, in the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, and the last part, it says, in addition, uh, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. 
Be sure your voice is clear. Like the teacher, for example, when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. So here we have the question, right? Okay. I have a message here. Tengo un mensaje. Vamos a ver. Uh, uh, appreciated. Jill? Appreciated. Appreciated, right? Now let's go to the questions. Question number one. Group number one. Please, what is your answer? In the first question, uh -huh. we think that is letter B. B. Cling. Very good. Call the person to report. Yes. Call the person, right? Por ahí alguien me decía hacerse los panes. Tal vez nadie nota que usted va tarde. <ríe> me gusta esa idea, pero no es la más correcta. <ríe> ok. I have another message here. Vamos a ver. Thanks, Jill. Ok. Good. Number two. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Group number two. Group number two. Hello, hello. Group number two, chicos del grupo dos. Letter C. Letter C. Oh, Giovanni. Nice, Giovanni. Letter C. Express the subject clearly. Bling. Correct. Now, number three, please. Group number three. Letter B. Letter B. Interrupt the other speaker. Interrupt the other speaker. Correct. -na 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 -na. Okay, good. And the last one, number four, any group. El grupo que quiera contestar. Vamos a ver, number four. A, B, or C. Letter C. Letter C, letter C, letter C. Let me see. Correct, my goodness. I like it, right? Okay. Now we're going to do something, class. We are going to make an exercise and summarize five etiquette guidelines. Okay? Now listen. Vamos a ir a hacer otro trabajo, pero hoy vamos a cambiar. De compañeros. Okay, me van a hacer, este sí un poquito más larga, cinco etiquette guidelines. Tomado, tomando la idea del artículo, ¿sí? Como ya le hicieron un screenshot, pues ahí pueden eh, verlo. Además, ya tenemos eh, a Giovanni, ya no está de listener, Giovanni, así que si aparece en su grupo, squeezy, sáquenme el jugo <ríe> a Giovanni, ¿ok? So, five etiquette guidelines on the article. Me van a escribir Cinco etiquetas. Etiquette guidelines, ¿sí? Cinco, cinco, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a usar como base? Lo que ya leímos, todo lo que ya leímos. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? Repito, no van a copiar toda la etiqueta, solo van a hacer un, un pequeño resumen, ¿verdad? Ok. Nos vamos al grupos. Vamos a hacer tres. Les digo los grupos, ahí van, pero presten atención. Ok. Creo que no se repiten, ¿verdad? Si se repiten, me dicen, quiero ver. Beatriz, Jorge. Sí, se repite. Vamos a hacerlo otra vez, volver a crear. Ok. Ya los cambiamos. Grupo número uno, Beatriz, Jill, Jorge, Oscar, Patricia, and Vilma. Yes. ¿Quiénes están de oyente en este grupo? 
Nadie, todos están participando. El grupo uno va bien pesado con todos los poderes. Grupo número dos, Enoch, Carolina y Jill. Eh, Esaú, Manuel. Estoy en el uno, teacher. ¿Quién, quién está en el uno? Jill. Jill. Ya, ah, sí, es cierto. Sí, entonces, Jill, la voy a mandar al, al dos. Okay. Permítame, le voy a mandar los dos, mover a sala dos. Vaya, ahí la, la mandé con sus dos, eh, dos devices, with the two devices, right? Entonces sería Enoch, Carolina y Gio, son los que van a estar activos ahí, ¿verdad? Y en el grupo tres tenemos a Eduardo, a Giovanni, a Mario y a Esmeralda. Ok, ahí estamos. ¿Estamos listos? ¿En qué número del grupo? Mario, usted va a estar en el grupo 3. Ok. Con los participantes son Eduardo Flores, Giovanni y Esmeralda. Ok, good. Ok, unámonos chicos. Karina, Cristi, se pueden unir a su grupo, por favor, aunque sea de oyentes, please. Karina, Karina, Cristi, Cristi, ok, Karina, hello Karina,
Ok, eh, Patricia, ¿cuál sería? Falta una todavía. Sí. Ahorita estoy, estoy leyendo. Ya pusimos la puntualidad, eh, la organización. El, el, el saludo es, es para el envío de correo, ¿verdad? Donde menciona. Sí. Lo primero, la primordialidad, correcto. Uh -huh. eh, la responsabilidad sería. Responsabilidad. Ya la, ya la, ya la notó. No, puntualidad, dijo primero. Y um, donde menciona la forma de escribir. Uh, por ahí está en el chat Oscar Oscar está sugiriendo uno ahí en el chat así que pueden compartirla también si quieren okay. Marita, uh, Oscar dice sí, sí, Oops, ok <coughs> ok or your supervisor Super by, con este. RS, así está bien. O RS. Uh -huh. S. Esa pienso eh. que puede ser una. Luego, no sé si Jill mencionó la eh, de. To be, to be, to be punctual to your, your office. To your office. office. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, use formal gramatical in correct language. Okay. Correct language and use formal gramatical. ¿Y otra sería? A ver. Uh, llevamos dos ahorita, entonces podría ser la siguiente de, de, de lo de llegar tarde. Es eso. ¿Ser puntuales? Vale, es una buena etiqueta, pero podremos resumir la de... Puntualidad. Eh, si no, ah, puntualidad, y si no, al menos avisar. To be punctual, right? To be punctual. Oh, oh teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, no, yes, puede, eh, si, si, si lo estamos haciendo o bien, eh, el, el resumen, ¿cómo sería? Eh, for example, eh, it's simple, just one sentence, right? Be punctual to your office. Only mm. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other could be do, do not do not speak loudly. Do not talk loudly when you are eating, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Be polite when you speak on the phone. Be polite when only that. Be polite when etcétera, etcétera, ¿ok? Ok. Por ahí les dejé algunas ideas, entonces. Dice Hello, hello, finish. ¿Terminaron, chicos? ¿Did you finish? Yes. Yes, ok, good. Yeah. Ya lo voy a llamar. Solo en la sala 2 y 3 no me han terminado. Solo ustedes son los primeritos. Congratulations. Okay. No le vayan a decir a ellos, pero ustedes son los más rápidos. Sí. 
por favor, ni, ni a Eduardo, no le voy a contar a Eduardo porque se enoja mucho, oiga. <risa> ok, no, broma, ok, ya, ya lo voy a llamar, ok. Solo vamos a revisar el grupo 2. 3. 3. 3. 3. La otra pienso que es Use formal and grammatical correct language for IME. Falta uno, niña. Piensa en el otro. Use, no. your, use formal, así está bien. Use formal. Use formal en. Use. Okay. En. Gramati. Con doble M, ajá. K. C. A. L. G. Ajá, doble L. Y. No, falta una L y la Y. Uh -huh. Sí. Correcto. Correct. Language. Es con A luego de la L. Language. Ahí, ajá. For email. <coughs> For email. El 5, a ver. Ok, chicos, solo les queda un minutito nada más, solo una idea cortita y ya los voy a llamar, ¿ok? Sure. Okay. Solo ustedes me quedan ya, solo los do, otros dos grupos ya terminaron, ¿ok? Un minuto okay. más, ¿ok? Ok. Be careful. Escuchar. ¿Y en español? Escuchar y conversar con cuidado. Pues porque nos referimos a los clientes, ¿verdad? O a los compañeros de trabajo. Listen and say, be carefully. Ok. Pero no, no sé cómo escribir. Se lo dicto. Listen. Ajá. Li listen. O sea, Ajá, listen. sí, listen. Uh -huh. En say, en saiba. En say, be careful. Uy, no me pinta el lapicero. Be Inside. careful. Be careful. O oh, carefully. <ríe> careful. <ríe> careful. Care... Sí. ¿Cómo me? C A R E. Ok, C-A-R-E-F-U-L-L-Y. Carefully. Carefully. Yes. Listen and say, be carefully. Listen oh. and say, be carefully. Ok, yes. chicos, eh, solo ustedes me quedan, los otros grupos ya, ya terminaron, solo les voy a dar un minutito y luego nos vamos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Good. Ok, teacher. Sí.
Okay, I guess we are ready, right? Everybody's here. Everybody's back. Uh, I will take the attendance. I will take the attendance before to continue. Uh, Enoch. Your teacher. Cristina. Cristina, ahí me manda el mensaje al, al chat para que quede registrado para Insafor. Cristi. Ok. En, eh, Carolina. Present. Esaú. ¿Ya está en casita, Esaú? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya puede participar? Yes. Ok, good. Thank you. En Elizabeth. Jill. Present teacher. Thank you, Jill. And Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Beatriz. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Eduardo Flores. Present. Ok. Eh, Karina Alejandra. Me pone el mensaje, Karina, que está de oyente, por favor, ahí en el chat. Alejandro. Alejandro. ¿Qué pasó con Alejandro? Me... Lo vi en el grupo, pero ahora ya no está acá. Quizás se salió. Ojalá que regrese. Bueno. Eh, Manuel está de oyente, ¿verdad, Manuel? Mándeme ahí el mensaje, por favor, de oyente. Y Andrés. Bueno, estuvo Andrés con nosotros. Ok, Oscar. Ok, thank you, Oscar. Aquí tengo un mensaje. Present, Manuel. Very good, Manuel. Sí me gusta. Está abuso, Manuel. Excelente. Eh, Mario. Aquí estoy. Present. Okay, thank you, Mario. Oscar ya había dicho Oscar, ¿verdad? Sí, ya lo había tomado en cuenta. Perdón. Eh, Patty. Present. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Vilma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, right? Now we're going to do something very simple. I will ask every group two, two etiquette rules, right? Only two. If you repeat the idea, si se repite la idea, no importa. La idea es que, que expresen ustedes las etiquette rules, right? So, group number one, two etiquette rules, please. Okay, uh, in group number one, we discuss about don't talk loudly while you chew. Mm -hmm. Be punctual, or if you're coming late, call your supervisor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Group number two. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. That's correct. One more. Two. Enoch, Enoch two. Yes, teacher. Group two. No, no, but I two, two, two. Ah, ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Um, to, uh, to be punctual your office. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. And finally, group number three, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, the group number three. Polite on the phone. To be polite on the phone. Uh -huh. To be polite on, on the, the phone. phone. Uh -huh. okay. Speak uh, clearly and concisely. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Concise. Concise. Mm -hmm. Speak clearly and concise. Speak clearly and concise. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, what else? That's, that's it, too, right? Nine. Sí, do, dos. Excellent. No, dos. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I understand. Sometimes we speak Spangly, right? No problem. Class, any extra commentary? No? Okay, good. Now we finish the class, but uh, I will share extra material for you. What time is it? Yeah. We still have time. Todavía nos quedan unos 17 minutos, right? Eh, antes que se me olvide, siempre que pido voluntarios, no se me ofrecen, así que hoy yo voy a tomar mi voluntario. Vamos a ver. Mario, hoy no se me escapa Mario, please. <ríe> Se va a quedar conmigo, Mario. ¿Es ok? Sí, teacher. Ok, excelente. Oh, pues. Así dice Mario, como un mm, bueno, <ríe> Puede ser mañana, si repaso con las tareas que no he hecho. Ah, <ríe> vaya, bueno, bien. Yo tengo, eh, no, no, Mario, pero si quiere, trabajamos con el. el... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Con la, con la plataforma, no hay problema. Aunque yo pensaba dedicarle unos cinco minutos al final de la clase, pero igual, ¿verdad? Ahí ustedes deciden. Y ahí Mario manda, es una clase personal de él, ¿no? así que... Bueno, a algunos no les gusta, no sé por qué, ¿verdad? Enoch ya se reenganchó, ¿verdad, Enoch? Excelente. Vale, cuando ya me acabe el, eh, la otra semana, pueden reengancharse los que quieran, oigan. Bueno. Entonces, vamos a compartir material. Let's share a material, right? Y luego, pues, terminamos la clase. Let me see here. El material está bonito. Ok. Common health complaints. Tan. Common health complaints. Listen. Number one, a headache. Oh, a headache, right? Number two, a backache. Ooh. Number, next one, sore muscles. Dolores musculares, right? Los que acaban de planchar y después se mojan, pues ahí está. A stomachache. Uh, a cold. Uh, you know. A cough. <laughs> ok, and the flu, la gripe, right? The flu. And finally, insomnia. Ok. These are some of the most common health complaints. Right? Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Headache. Backache. Sore muscles. A stomachache. A cold. A cough. The flu. Insomnia. Okay, now, talking about these problems, we have this conversation. Ok, aquí me hace como se la puede centrar un poquito aquí. Ahí estamos. Ok, listen to the audio, please. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. <laughs> Jack, right? Okay, class, listen again, please, and repeat. Listen and repeat. Ready? Exercise two conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. 
Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Yuck, right? Like you said, Bad Bunny, yuck. Okay. I'm sorry, Eduardo. I know you like Bad Bunny, but excuse me, I, I don't. But you say yuck, right? Okay, now. Any question about vocabulary? Awful. Awful. Odioso. Cae mal. Awful, right? Yes. Awful. Imagine. <laughs> Sorry? In helpful. Helpful is eh, eh, saludable. Helpful, and, saludable. And shop. Shop is. Car, no. You shop a uh, uh, head of car. Es, es eh, ¿cómo se llama? Ajo. Picar ajo. una cabeza de ajo completa. Ok. Y los dientes se llaman tooth, son los dientes de ajo. Ok, any other question? Any other question? Good. Now I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. I need a Joan and a Craig, please. Two. Are you ready? Your teacher. Okay, thank you, Enoch. Enoch, you're going to be John, Joan, sorry, Joan. And I need a Craig. Volunteers, please. No, teacher. Thank you, Jill. Jill, you're Craig. Enoch, you are John. Action. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of uh, rest. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop, uh, chop up a whole head of garlic and cook eating chicken stock. Try it. I really work. It, it really works. It really work. Jill, that's no, no, no. all. Jill, Jill, come on, it's like. Yeah. 
Okay. Imagine yeah. someone, uh, Vilma, imagine <laughs> someone says, uh, Vilma, let's go to a concert of Peso Pluma. And then you say, <laughs> Yak. Yak. <laughs> that song, awful. Awful, awful, right? Awful. Yes. Talentoso. Now, let's continue, right? Okay. Now, here we have another conversation, right? This is about some uh, auxiliaries. Este es sobre algunos auxiliares que hemos visto en esta clase. So, let me see. What time is it? Oh, qué rápido se nos fue la clase. Yeah, so we're going to practice this. Luego me quedo con Mario, right? Listen, please. Page 81, exercise 8, conversation. What do you suggest? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Sure. Why don't you try these cough drops? They work very well. Okay. I'll take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well... You could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He, he the the husband needs energy right <laughs> okay and a lot of vitamins good class repeat after me repeat after me hi may i help you yes please could i have something for a cough could i have something for a cough Sure. Why don't you try these cough drops? They work very well. Okay, I'll take one box. And what do you suggest for dry skin? And what do you suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Le está faltando la cuota, ¿no? <laughs> okay. Can you suggest anything? Suggest? Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Me, right? Okay, two volunteers. Two volunteers with this conversation. Help me, please. Me. Okay, thank you, Jill. Jill, you're the no, pharmacist. Beatriz. Ah, Beatriz, Beatriz. Oh, no, Jill, no, right? Beatriz, sorry. Okay, uh, Beatriz, you are the pharmacist. And anybody else? Alguien que no me haya participado. Vamos, chicos. Ya lo último de la clase. Vamos. Teacher, teacher. 
pero tendría que ser la persona que haga la señal Miss Web, la, la voz de viejita, para que se escuche así bien, bien traducido, no, bien, bien pronunciado. Ah, ok, vamos a escoger un chico entonces. <ríe> yes. ¿Alguien quiere ser la señora Web? Yo. Ok, thank you. Eh, Mario, Mario, right? Mario, Mario, ok, thank you, Mario. Beatriz, ok, wait. Let me, let me get the official introduction. Aunque esa uno no me ha participado, ¿verdad? Pero bien, lo veo algo cansadito ahí. <ríe> Muy bien. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, Beatriz and Mario, action. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I'm getting a call. Sure. Why don't you try these cough drops? They work very well. Okay. Okay. I'll take one box. And what do you su suggest for dry skin? Well, you could get a jar of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. Uh, my husband has not energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good act, right? Ok, entonces solo escuchamos el uso de algunos auxiliares, como lo, el should, lo que hemos estado viendo. Uh, y tenía un ejercicio de listening, pero ya no nos alcanzó el tiempo. Bueno. Ok, listen, please. Ajá, Mario. Esa palabra tengo una duda, la es suggest. Hace su, seis... Ah, no, 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 suggest. Suggest. Suggest, ah. right? Okay. Okay, yes. listen. Teacher, what is the meaning of jar? Jar, es una, una, ¿cómo es? Una jarra, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, pero tiene otro nombre, déjeme ver. Jar, a jar, una botella, ajá, ¿eh? una jarra, ¿sí? A jar. Okay. Page a 81, exercise 9, grammar focus. Modal verbs can, could, May for requests. Suggestions. Ok, habíamos visto el could, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Entre estos todos auxiliares, ¿cómo se usa? Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? You could try this lotion. You should get some skin cream. Why don't you try this new ointment? Okay, class. So this is the use of some auxiliary, right? Thank you very much. Hoy sí les toco trabajar bastante. Hoy descansé bastante yo, ¿verdad? Así. Okay. Good. Now I will take the attendance and vamos al, al mimir. Solo me quedo con Mario. Okay. Eh, Enoch. Here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, partners. Good, good, good night. Vilma. Vilma. Yes. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Cristina. Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Right? Eh, Patricia. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina. Present, teacher. Esaú. Good night. Good night. Bye. No, en la otra me participa más, oiga, Esaú. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Jill. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Oscar. Good night. Oscar. Good. Good night, ah, good, good. Ya lo escuché. Bye bye. Mario. 
No se me voy a ir, Mario. Giovanni. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you, Giovanni. Eh, Beatriz. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jorge. Here, good night, teacher. Okay. Eduardo Flores. Bye, bye teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye. Eh, Karina. Alejandro. Eh, Manuel, Eduardo. Ah, ya, ya me dijo presente, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Ahí estamos. Manuel y Karina. Thank you very much. Ya les tomé asistencia, chicos. Pueden desconectarse sin problemitas. Ok, tengo aquí Beatriz, Cristina, ajá, Cristina ya le tomé asistencia y Karina, ya estamos, ok, good, thank you. Ok, Mario. Hello, Mario. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, it's a pleasure, thank you, gracias por quedarse. Bueno, que ya no son diez minutos, pero ya son como como siete minutos, así que se le reduce el tiempo. Eh, so what Mario. your day so far? Ah, it was really good. Really good. Yes. Energetic. That sounds great. Yeah, and you? Um, it's, it was a hard day, but it was good. What time do you finish exactly to work? Um, 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. Oh, yeah. But only today. Uh, ah, only today. Oh. Day, uh -huh. <laughs> a veces termino más tarde o, o a veces más temprano. <laughs> muy, muy temprano. Oh, right. So you had a lot of work. And you begin early in the morning, Mario. Mm, uh, sí, excepto los miércoles. <laughs> ah, okay. Very hard, eh? Ah, I... Te toca pesadito, <laughs> Mario. Ok, Mario, le voy a leer. Pero, pero es más que todo para la asistencia de los, de los empleados. Oh. <ríe> Como tengo que recibir las llamadas que llaman cuando llegan al trabajo de varias Interesting. sucursales. Interesting, right. Ok, Mario, nos vamos entonces a la, a la plataforma. Este, ahí veo que le hacen falta algunos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Si gusta, sí. de, 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 me dice de dónde para... Fíjese que eh, creo que me había dicho que desde la unidad 1 tenía que hacer, pero es que no me ha quedado mucho tiempo. Eh, y ahorita que vengo, eh, siempre me ocupan la computadora. Uh, bueno, ya se la gana. Pero vale. Ahora en la noche lo voy a terminar. Ajá, mejor, pero... mejor de. Un, me ayuda con un repaso de, de todo. Okay. Así. Vale, okay. así, ¿Qué, ¿Qué tema? ¿Qué tema le gustaría que viéramos, Mario? Um... Quiero ver el de... Mmm, de estos mismos. Eh, ayer no pude poner mucha atención. Ah, ok. Entonces, ayer vimos cómo escribir un email de mm. una forma más eh, formal. Y veíamos algunos... Si gusta, le comparto el, el, el PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Para que... Ok. Para que lo... Permítanme. Solo regalen unos segunditos para abrir el archivo rápido. Ok, aquí estamos. Documentos. Inglés corporativo. Y la presentación del día de ayer. Basic Free. Aquí está. Ok, ahí está abriéndose ya. Solo déjeme que se corra hasta aquí. Aquí está. Vaya, Mario. Ahorita le comparto. Vaya. Estas son algunas sugerencias, Mario, de qué se debe y qué no se debe hacer a la hora de escribir un email, ¿verdad? 
eso está en su, ¿cómo se llama? En su manual, manual. en la página número 33, por si quiere chequearlo, ¿ok? Uh, ok. Do not use all capitals. No se debe escribir todo con mayúscula. En the opposite, right? No, debe, no se debe escribir todo con minúscula. So, excuse me. Do not use all capitals. And do not use all, excuse me, lowercase. Lowercase quiere decir minúscula, right? Avoid using the subject important. Trate de evitar, Mario, cuando usted ponga un email, de ponerle a todos, importante, 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 urgente, urgente, urgente. No, no, no. Van a dejar de ser importantes. Bueno, los que sí. de son muy importantes. Correct. That's it, right? Very good. Then use a formal salutation, like, for example, uh, um, good morning. Good morning, licenciado Fuentes. Have a good day, Mr. Mr. Antonio Juarez, or whatever, you know. So, but you say an salutation, un saludo siempre. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Otra cosa que debe hacer, Mario, con los eh, emails es be brief, que es decir, ser breve. Breve, breve y conciso, ¿no? Ok. Otro consejo es express clearly what you're writing. Eh, diga exactamente por qué está escribiendo. O, sea, o se le ocurrió de repente, amaneció, ah, voy a mandar un email. No. ¿Por qué está escribiendo? También no se deben usar abreviaciones. Do not use abbreviation. Ok. Y tampoco carita feliz. Emojis. Nada que ver, ni mem, mucho menos memes. Nada, ¿verdad? Solo de publicar, pues, las cosas necesarias. Sí, ok. Che, Ajá. ¿Cuáles son los temas que tenemos que dominar en este, eh, en este ya en este módulo? Ahorita le digo. Comenzamos con la unidad 1. En la unidad 1 tenemos que dominar los temas más difíciles, que por cierto, ahí les envié los, los PowerPoint, Mario. Eh, al grupo, ¿verdad? Ahí puede darle una buscada en retroceso para encontrarlos. El uso de los infinitivos, cómo usar infinitivos, ¿sí? Que es la preposición tú más un verbo. También aprendimos cómo usar gerundios, ¿se acuerda? Con ING, que después, sí. ¿sí? Después de una preposición siempre viene una palabra con ING, ¿sí? Ok, y también la, uno de los temas más difíciles fue la voz pasiva, ¿se acuerda, Mario? Sí. Que sí, cambiábamos fue... el sujeto con el objeto y decíamos, por ejemplo, eh, the house was built by me, la casa fue construida por yo, por mí. <risa> Recuerdo que justo ese tema me, me dio un dolor de cabeza, pero eh... en español, en, en, en lenguaje. Ah, en cuando el... usted estudió. Sí. Sí, ah, es que habían temas así bien, bien complejos. Ajá, pero, también... pero en esta clase lo entendió más o menos. Sí, sí, de hecho, justamente por eso es que lo entendí. Ah, excelente, me agrada. Sí, porque este tema es difícil. También, Mario, hemos visto el uso de las preguntas de información, como uh, What do you do? Uh, what department do you supervise? What branch do you work? Eh, do you, where do you use the exercise? Etcétera, etcétera. Entonces decimos las preguntas de información. Es otro tema que, que vimos, ¿verdad? Y también vimos lo que es el presente simple. No, perdón, el pasado simple. Ese tema fue difícil. El pasado simple. Cuando vimos los verbos regulares e irregulares. En pasado simple, ¿ok? Y en la unidad número 3, ¿verdad? Eh, estuvimos viendo eh, lo que es el tema de cómo usar el could you y el would you, would you mind, ¿verdad? Que Mario son las expresiones más amables que hay en inglés. Could you give me 100 dólares? Quisiera darme 100 dólares. <risa> o would you mind giving me 100 dólares? Luego usamos el should, el should y should not, que usted, qué es lo que debería usted hacer y no debería hacer. Y por último, lo que hemos visto ahora estos días, pues, el uso de 
de cómo usar una buena buen email, cómo enviar un buen email y la good etiquette en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Por cierto, Mario, fíjese que se me, no les pasé todo el, el, el PowerPoint. Ya me recuerda mañana porque no, no lo pasé todo. todo. Sí, vaya. Ok, ok. Eso son Fíjate, todos los temas. Esta semana me ha servido bastante lo que he aprendido. Ah, bueno, eso me alegra, Mario. Lo que he aprendido man. en estos módulos. Me alegra, un, Mario. Un, unos parientes de ese. Ajá. Yo sentía como que estaban hablando español. Les, les entendía <risas> todo. Ok, me Pero, agrada. Que... Me agrada. Me, me cuesta un poquito ya de hablar. Sí, sí, pero aquí recuérdese que usted puede, puede participar cuantas veces quiera. ¿Verdad? Sí. Bueno, aquí me faltó hasta un, una adivinanza, me faltó, Mario. Pero mañana, mañana mm. lo vamos a hacer, sí. Mañana okay. Yo le recuerdo cualquier cosa. Sí, solo do, dos slides me faltaron de la presentación de ahora. Como no, nos entretuvimos con la lectura, ¿verdad? Bastante nos entretuvimos, sí. Ok, sí, Mario. Incluso nosotros ¿Mm? estuvimos practicando en los grupos. Qué bueno, me alegra muchísimo. El consejo de siempre, Mario, escuche música en inglés, vea películas en inglés, y si le va a poner subtítulo a las películas, que sea en inglés. Y como somos nivel básico, vea películas de muñequitos. ¿Ok? Esos son los consejos. ¿Ok? La serie de Doctor House me voy a ver en... Dele con todo. Bueno. Ok, espero que en inglés. Oiga, no se lo olvide. Sí, sí. Bye, Mario. Bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you.